Um, if you did not get your turkey card, you can do so afterwards. Uh, it's a $20 gift card to Kroger. Thank you for all your work this year. Uh, we also have our employee appreciation coupon books. So if you didn't get those when they announced those at Halloween, you can go pick those up today also. We will have our annual Christmas meal for employees and immediate family. That's going to be on Thursday, December the 20th. That is the first day that school is out for kids, so just take that into consideration. Um, we just ask that you sign up for either lunch or dinner, whatever you prefer, whatever is going to work best for your family. So sign up for lunch or dinner and let us know how many people will be present so we can make sure that we have food counts. Uh, we're going to have two to one here in the Young Building uh, for lunch with Santa in the Elmer Building from noon to one. And then we will have, kind of like we did last year, where we split food up between Cork and here due to the size and the amount of people that we have. 5 to 6 30 in the court, 5 to 7 30 here in the Young Building, and then Santa from 5 to 7 30 in Elmer, too. So come bring your families, sign up with Betty at the reception desk by Monday the 17th. So we have final numbers on the food. Uh, this is our uh, end of year time, so we are doing our um, Facebook fundraiser. So on your personal pages, you may have received an email about it. Um, if you have any information or want more information, want some details, we'll keep you Jeff afterwards. Uh, there's a competition going on right now to see who can raise the most through your personal Facebook page. Um, we are participating in the Best Places to Work in Kentucky program. This is a survey that's completed by the Best Companies Group. Uh, a random selection of Wendell Foster employees has been chosen by the Best Companies Group to complete an employee survey. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to complete. Uh, so those of you that were, were selected by Best Companies Group, you're going to get a survey. I think you're going to be in your mailbox over in the Elmer Building or your supervisor's mailbox. Um, so supervisors, make sure that you hand those out accordingly for us. Um, you, we are asking if you just complete that. It'll take 10 or 15 minutes. There is a postage paid envelope attached to that. So just stuff it in the envelope, drop it in the mail. You can bring it to the reception desk or to HR and we'll put it in the mail for you. Um, just, to, just so you know, there are going to be serial numbers on these surveys. These are just to identify Little Foster, not you specifically. They do hundreds of these surveys for each state, so we want to make sure that we get credit for our organization specifically. Um, and then make sure that you place those in the mail by December the 2nd so that we can have those counted. All right, any questions before we get started? All right, so I'm going to introduce you to Maria Darty. She is our account manager with Wendell, or with uh, Ford for Wendell Foster, and she is going to go over our 2019 Flitch Benefit platform. Good morning, everyone. Again, um, like Blair said, my name is Maria Darty. I work for EM Ford, and I have been your account manager here at Wendell Foster for um, a little over four years. So I know I've met a lot of you, seen a lot of you um, when I've been over here. So today we are going to go through the 2019 benefit platform. Um, you're not going to see a lot of changes. There are a few changes, and we're going to highlight those. Um, I'll go through everything and then I'll give you an opportunity to ask questions at the end. So hang on to your questions, uh, but definitely remem remember them. So medical insurance is still going to be through North America as it has been for the last few years. They are going through a um, kind of a merge um, with a group called Lucent Health. So you may see envelopes in, the, in your mailbox that say Lucent Health on them. They, they may still say NAA, but if you see Lucent, don't, you know, don't worry. That is the same thing as NAA. Your group life insurance is through One America. No changes there. Dental is with HRI as it has been. But in the past, we have offered two different plans. We've given you a couple of options. This year, we're merging everybody onto one plan. Vision insurance was with Humana the last few years. Um, we've had some issues with them, and they did have a rate increase. So we were able to um, shop that around and we came up with a, a product called Davis Vision. Davis is affiliated with HRI, which is your dental company, so essentially um, both will be through HRI. Davis is relatively new in this area, but there are a lot of doctors in it, eye doctors in it, so don't worry. Uh, great plan, great price. Um, disability, critical care, cancer, and accident is through Colonial, no changes there. And then just to mention, your 403B plan, your investments plan is through MassMutual. 
That is not my area. It is through EM4, but it's a separate department. So if you have any questions on your 403B, do not ask me because I cannot answer them. But I can connect you to somebody that can. Um, Ryan McDaniel takes care of that, and I can get you his number, or I can get your name and number and have Ryan call you. So do not hesitate to ask about it. Um, so let's get to kind of the bad news first. We did have a rate increase this year, unfortunately. Um, we did everything we could to keep the rates flat. We've been able to keep them steady for the last few years, but we did have to um, raise the premium this year. Um, you were paying for employee only $115, and it has gone up $25 to $140. So that's $70 per pay. It's an extra $12.50 out of your check. Um, just no, just kind of notice the total premium is $621.96. Wendell Foster is picking up the majority of that for you guys. It just went up so much that um, we had to have this rate increase. For employee child, it is uh, $335 per pay. Sorry, per month, $167.50 per pay. Um, now these rates are for full-time only. If you are part-time, you are eligible to purchase the insurance, but you will pay double what these costs are. So um, again, $70 per pay. You do, the good news is though, you do have the opportunity to do the wellness program and reduce that cost. So that's a really nice benefit. I work with a lot of groups and um, Wendell Foster is very innovative in giving you all that discount. Most groups do not do that. They, they want you to participate in wellness, but they don't give you that direct amount. So that, that's really nice. Um, biometric screenings were done during the health fair, October the 17th and 18th. If you missed that, um, weren't able to attend or if you just didn't want to attend but have had a change of heart after seeing the premium it is not too late you have until December the 14th to sign up to go get your blood work done and um, if you have questions on that just see an HR member and uh, Blair Molly somebody they can help you connect you to get you to where you need to go to do your blood work and um, so how that works is they assess five criteria, blood pressure, BMI, um, cholesterol, then A1C, A1C is um, blood sugar, so they're checking for diabetes, and then tobacco use. So let's say that I went and had my blood drawn and because I wanted to do this. I can pass four out of the five. My blood pressure's good, my cholesterol's good, I'm not diabetic, I do not smoke, but I do like to eat, and my body mass index is too high, so um, I can get 40 out of $50. So I tell you all that just for, you know, just kind of an explanation. Um, I can save $40 a month. I would be happy if I saved 10 bucks a month, so it's well worth it to do this, but since the premium is 140, I, my premium would then go to 100, so I would be paying 50 a pay rather than 70 a pay. So that's a nice, nice chunk. So if you have not done your biometric screening, please see somebody in HR and get that taken care of. Um, it saves you money, but it also can save your health. I, I haven't told anybody else this. Uh, this is the fifth session I've done, but I just feel like I need to say this um, in this one for some reason. But we did these blood, these screenings for um, another group that we work with, and. The doctor uh, or the, the technician immediately sent that gentleman to the emergency room with what they found and he ended up staying in the hospital for a week. He would have died had he not done his screening that day. So uh, it's very important for your health to get checked out. So don't know why I need to say that, but I did. Um, these are not arbitrary numbers that we come up with. It's through the National Institute of Health what they think the BMI should be, not what I think it should be, so, and the other things too. Um, this is a screen you all may be tired of seeing, um, if you remember. Um, we show this every year. We have the last few years, but I really want to emphasize to make sure that the employees understand the difference between self-insured or self-funded and fully insured. Wendell Foster is self-insured, and what that means is all of the claims that happen, that occur here, are paid by Wendell Foster. 
Um, if you go to the doctor, the bill's $100. The $100 gets paid by Wendell Foster. The money comes from here. It's just to make you aware of your health care costs. If you are sick, health insurance is important. I'm not a healthy person. I have some, some issues, and I have to see the doctor often. I love having health insurance for that reason. It is there for you to use, but just we don't want you to abuse it. Um, if, if you don't need to go to the doctor, don't go to the doctor, but um, just know that all claims are paid by Wendell Foster. Okay, so let's talk about the benefits. No changes in the benefits from years past. You will have a very, very good program. I want you all to understand and realize how good your insurance is. Um, your deductible is $1,500. A deductible is the first dollar amount that you pay um, outside of co-pays. So let's say I have appendicitis and I end up in the hospital. The first, you know, that hospital bill is going to be astronomical. The first $1,500 is going to be on me. Then after that, the balance of whatever's left over, insurance is going to pay 70% and I'm going to pay 30%. Up to a maximum of $2,550. The most that you're going to spend in any calendar year per person is $2,550. That is really, really, really low. Most of the companies that I work with, um, the deductible is more than $2,550. I, I did an open enrollment for a group on Monday and sat down with their employees and they had, two, they offered two plans. The base plan, which is the one the company contributes to, the deductible was 5,000. And if they wanted to buy up to a richer plan, the deductible was 3,000. You guys, the most you're going to spend is $25.50, so that's really good. Um, I have occasionally gotten a call from a, a Wendell Foster employee. You know, I got a bill from the hospital for $8,000, and you said when you met with me that the most I would ever spend is $25.50. More than likely, there's just a problem. Something has a process right. Do not panic. Do not have a heart attack. Just call me, and we'll work through it. Now, this is all provided you go to an in-network doctor. Uh, we do want to stay in the network, but that's pretty easy to do around here. So most you're going to spend is $2,550. You go to the doctor for a checkup, pay for it 100%. Go get a physical. There's no reason not to go get a physical. Um, I have a 25-year-old son, and working in the field that I work in, I made him go get a physical. Mom, I don't need one. Yes, you do. Well, they found that he has this rare um, lung and liver disorder that we didn't know he had. It will not really affect him now as a young person, but it will affect him as he gets older, and it will have to be monitored. So it's something that we had no idea about, and now hopefully we've caught it, and it'll be they'll be able to control it. So it's very important to go get a physical. Um, just make sure the doctor codes it as wellness, pay for it 100%. Doctor visits are $35, um, whether you see a regular doctor or a specialist. Specialist is somebody like um, an orthopedic doctor or a dermatologist, and someone outside of your primary care. Um, most companies, they are the copay for a specialist is double. Um, your all's is 35 across the board. Same for an urgent care. Um, emergency room, we used to have an issue with ER at Wendell Foster. We used to have a lot of people that would go to the ER for, you know, colds and flus and um, emergency room care is about seven to eight times more expensive than if you were to go to an urgent care. If you go to an urgent care, it's going to cost you $35. If you go to the ER, it's probably going to cost you, uh, oh my goodness, it's going to cost at least a couple thousand. You're going to have to pay the deductible and then 30% co-insurance. So there are occasions, don't get me wrong, there are times when you need an emergency room. Uh, without a doubt, but for things, minor things, go to an urgent care. It's much, much cheaper on you, which in the long run is cheaper for Wendell Foster. Um, and then lastly, prescription drugs. If you go to the pharmacy to get a prescription, there's a $100 front end deductible. Your generic drugs are $10. Um, preferred is 30, non-preferred is 50. When you're at the doctor, it is important for us as employees um, to be proactive and to ask questions. 
hey doc, can, is there a generic medicine available for that? Can I get that in a generic? So much cheaper. Also, when you're at the pharmacy, ask questions at the pharmacy. Um, a lot of drugs, like at Walmart, Walgreens, they have those $4 drugs. You would much rather pay $4 than $10. Ask them, make sure that they're not, if it's, if it's a $4 drug, let's not run it through the insurance. Um, most pharmacies in Owensboro are really good about giving you the lower price, but you never know, ask questions. Um, I had an employee yesterday after the first session I did come up and tell me that Meyer has a lot of prescriptions that are free. I did not know that. So that's, uh, you know, maybe a good place to start going to get your medication because a lot of just those generic drugs, the lower cost generics, they just give them to you for free to try to get your business. Um, there's another, there's a website, or I have an app on my phone called GoodRx. GoodRx is, it's not a, it's not a program, it's nothing you have to sign up for. You can just type in your zip code and the name of your medicine, and it gives you all the local pharmacies, it gives you what the cost is. I took a medicine, one time the doctor prescribed me, and she said it's pretty expensive, um, but I, you know, I really want you to try it, check around for pricing. And um, in Owensboro, this drug was ranged anywhere from $35 to $180 at the local pharmacies. So it's really, really good to check these things. Be proactive. I already went over the ER, so we'll skip that one. Network, we want to make sure that you see an in-network doctor. Um, it's much, much cheaper to go in-network than out-of-network. You go to OCHN.net is the website. That stands for Owensboro Community Health Network. Um, OCHN.net is the website you go to, and when you get there, it gives you an option, do you want OCHN or OCHN Select? You will always want to hit Select before you search for a doctor. Um, if you have trouble with that, if you don't remember the website, call me at Ann Ford. I will be happy to help you. Um, HR could, could direct you to, but always check. You know, a lot of times your, your regular doctor you know is in the network. They might refer you to another doctor. That's where you really can get in trouble because Oh, you think I should go see Dr. Jones? Okay, I'll go to Dr. Jones, and you don't even think to check. Always check your network, just to make sure. Um, another thing I really wanted to mention today is Teladoc. I know you all heard of Teladoc, or at least I hope you have um, working here. Teladoc is a program where you can call a board-certified Kentucky licensed doctor and talk to him or her about what's going on. Teladoc is fantastic. If you have the flu, you need some medicine, you have a sinus infection, you're like, all you have to do is pick up the phone, you don't even have to take your pajamas off, you call the doc, they will call you in a prescription, 100% free. You have to pay for the medicine, but you don't have to pay for the doctor. I have, I'm on Anthem, I have Teladoc, um, I have to pay $25 copay when I use it. You guys don't have to pay anything. It does cost you $5 a month, that's $2.50 per pay. If you use it one time, it has paid for itself. Um, another thing I would really like about your Ross Teladoc program, it works for anybody that's in your lives in your house, even if they're not on your insurance. So my husband is a bum, he will not go to the doctor, so I usually say stop whining if you're not gonna go to the doctor. Um, because I'm not very nice, I guess, but um, he will use Teladoc. He will pick up the phone and call and they'll call him in a medicine. So it's a really good benefit. Um, please you know, consider using it. I don't know if any of you all know Clay Ford, um, but Clay is my boss. He's on the board here um, at Wendell Foster, but Clay utilized Teladoc because his daughter wasn't feeling well. And he called and um, the doctor was just not comfortable. He said, you know, I just don't feel right. I, I don't, I just don't feel good about the symptoms. I think you should take her to the emergency room. And she ended up having um, emergency surgery that night. She had appendicitis. So you are see, talking to a real doctor. It's not, you know, some quack. You're getting somebody that knows what they're talking about that can help you. Um, I love it. If, if you have any of these things, I've had peak out before. They will call you in those drops. You don't have to go into the doctor. And I like the fact that you don't have to go be around all the other sick people that are sitting in the doctor. So um, anyway, Teladoc's a great thing. Use it. If you don't have it, you can sign up for it um, during the, with the benefits counselors next week. You do have to be on the health insurance, however. 
to, um, to enroll in that. Okay, that's all the medical. I'm gonna back up for a minute because I don't think I said this, um, and if I did, it's worth repeating. On the, um, whenever I was going through the wellness piece and said that, you know, I could get $40 off if, because of my blood work and everything, if you have employee children, you get double that. So if I had my kids on my plan, I would get $80 off. So that helps, that helps, because I know that price is, uh, did go up and it, is, it does look like a, a big chunk and I hate that, but you can at least get $80 off. So I don't think I said that, but. All right, now we're gonna talk about dental. Dental insurance is, like I mentioned earlier, it's still through HRI. Um, we have in the past offered two plans. We are merging everyone on to one plan. Um, we used to offer like a high plan and a low plan. Everybody's going to the high plan this, this year. We got a good price on it. We got a better price than we've had in the past. Um, anybody that is on dental insurance right now will be merged onto the new plan. If you do not want to be, if you do not want the dental insurance, you'll need to sign up for an appointment to talk to a benefits counselor Monday or Tuesday and cancel that dental insurance. But just make sure you understand, you, if you have dental now, you'll continue to have dental um, you know, unless you sign up to cancel it. Um, highlights of the plan, you get $1,500 per person that's on the plan um, for basic services, and then you also get $1,500 for orthodontics. Um, this is the only group that I have uh, that offers adult orthodontia. So adults can go get braces on this plan, which is kind of nice. Um, so you get $1,500 per person for regular services and then another $1,500 for orthodontics for each person that's on the plan. Um, preventative services are paid at 100%, major at 80, basic at 50. Um, preventative services are teeth cleanings. You can get your teeth cleaned twice a year for free. You get x-rays once a year for free. Um, and then major services, if you get fillings, um, basic root canal therapy, oral surgeries, those are paid at 80%, you pay 20%. And then crowns, endonics, those are paid at 50%, and um, the insurance pays 50. Um, the rates on that for employee only is $23.68 per month or $11.84 per pay. The only other thing that I really want to say about dental, and this will apply to vision as well when we get there, um, if you are paying for this, please use it. Don't pay for it and then not go to the dentist because you are just throwing your money away. Um, I hate to see people do that. When you can get your teeth cleaned twice a year for free. Um, I, I know it's, you know, it can be a hassle to, to make those appointments and go and keep them, um, but it is just so worth it. I spend time with a lot of employees and, you know, I'll have people say, well, you know, I haven't been to the dentist in years. Why are you paying $30 a month? I, I just hate for you to waste your money. If you're gonna pay for it, please use it. Um, it it's just for your sake, for your sake. Vision insurance, I had mentioned, will be moving to Davis Vision. Again, anyone that was on the Humana plan will be merged onto the Davis plan. If you do not want that, if you do not want to be to go from uh, Humana to Davis, you will need to meet with a benefits counselor and cancel it for 2019. Um, the vision insurance is very similar to what we had with Humana. Um, it's a $10 copay if you go to the eye doctor. And then if you wear glasses or contacts, it really makes sense to do this, especially contacts, because you're you're paying your premium and then a ten dollar copay. So that's like you're going to the eye doctor. That that can kind of be a wash as far as money. But then they're going to give you one hundred and thirty dollars worth of contacts, completely free. It's definitely worth it. It pays for itself there. Um, and then on glasses, you can get any frame that they have up to one hundred and thirty dollars, and then it's a fifteen dollar copay for your lenses. Uh, now, know ahead of time that, like I wear glasses, I, I have contacts in today, but sometimes I wear glasses. Um, they're, I wanted like a no-line bifocal. I got a scratch guard on mine. I, 
got a glare resistant. You know, they talk you into all this stuff. But um, that is extra. You will pay extra for that. $15 is just the flat rate for just a basic lens. Um, but still, you can get out of there, you know, with a cheap pair of glasses and not spend very much money. The cost for vision is $5.70 per month or $2.85 per pay for employee only. Um, on the, the medical insurance, you know, we don't cover spouses, but on dental, vision, and life, your spouse is eligible. So you can see the pricing for um, if you want to cover everybody on your family. Vision insurance makes sense. If you wear glasses or contacts, I would highly encourage you to enroll. Um, next, let's talk about life insurance. Um, I, I spend time with groups, you know, new groups that are forming or groups that, that are just starting to offer insurance. And if they ask me what I recommend that they offer, number one is always health insurance. That's the number one thing that people need. But if they're only willing to offer one more thing, I suggest life insurance. Uh, life insurance is very important to me. I, it, other people in my family, um, I, I've seen how, how they've been affected and how life insurance has helped. Wendell Foster provides completely free to you one time your annual salary. So if you hired in making $25,000, then you have $25,000 in life insurance. Another thing that they offer that no one else does you get a $5,000 benefit for your spouse and a $2,500 benefit for your children. Um, nobody, no companies offer benefits for family members um, like that, like insurance benefits. So it's, it's really good. I, I just, I can't emphasize enough how strong the benefit plan is here. Um, reasons that you should have life insurance help pay off the mortgage or pay toward the mortgage in the event something happened to you. Um, put money aside for your kids for college, um, medical bills, funeral expenses. Life insurance is just a good way to say I love you to the people that you leave behind. Um, this chart here shows kind of what the employer paid life insurance is like. Um, one time your annual salary, 5000 for uh, for your spouse. Uh, the, the one thing I really want to emphasize on this screen is accidental death and dismemberment, um, and which is AD and D. What that means is if you die from an accident, the benefit is doubled. So if, if I died in an accident and my salary was $25,000, my, my husband would get $50,000. Um, my previous job I, I, that I worked at, I told a, an employee, if you think you're having a heart attack, throw yourself down the stairs, and then your wife will get double the benefit. Um, I got in trouble for saying that, and yet here I am saying it in front of you all. But um, anyway, hey, you want to leave your wife as much as you can. So, um, and then the the D for dismemberment is um, such a lovely word. But I, I did work with a, a gentleman one time that he had an accident and he lost an eye, and so that's considered dismemberment, and he earned the the benefit. So. Um, AD and D coverage is important to have. It's it is free with your Ross plan. It's offered as a part of it, um, but I always encourage people to buy it because it's really cheap. If if not, but um, you can buy extra life insurance. It's a good time to do that because it's much much cheaper to buy life insurance as a in a group than it is if you were to just walk into EM Ford and say, you know, I want to buy life insurance. It's much cheaper in the group setting. You can get up to $130,000. Um, if this is your first open enrollment, you can do that with no medical questions asked. If you are just, you know, you've been here a few years and just thought, you know, I need to do this, there will be a form you have to complete for, with medical questions. It's not blood work, it's not anything like that. It's just uh, filling out a form with questions. Um, you can get 50%, up to 50% in insurance on your spouse of what you buy. So if I were to buy an additional hundred thousand for myself, then I could get fifty thousand for my husband, and then you can get up to ten thousand dollars on your kids and up to the age of twenty-five. Um, I met with an employee one time that I asked if she wanted life insurance for her children, and she literally had a panic attack sitting there. She could not think about, talk about life insurance. The thought of losing her children just freaked her out, and, and I understand that this is not a subject that we we really want to talk about, 
but it is important. So um, it is offered and it's very cheap and um, just wanted to, to throw that in. Portability privilege means that you can take it with you. If you were to leave Wendell Foster, it will go, it can go with you. The price will go up, but you can take it with you. And then beneficiary, now's a good time to look at who is your beneficiary. Maybe fill out another form to change your beneficiary. If you have gotten married, gotten divorced, um, circumstances in your life have changed. I have had, um, I've been working in insurance my, my whole career and I have had to um, have the company issue a check to an ex-wife instead of the new wife because he forgot to change the beneficiary. So it's very important to, to remember these things and um, you know, update it as needed. Okay, so that is our basic plans. That is medical, dental, vision, and life. Before I move on to talk about colonial products, um, any questions on what I've covered so far? Yes, ma'am. With the dental and the vision changing together, will we get new cards and get started again? You will get new cards. Um, you will have Everything that we're doing now goes into effect January 1st. Um, you will get new cards sometime in December. It, it just depends on, um, we've got to get everybody seen and everything processed and with Thanksgiving, I would say it'll be probably uh, mid to late uh, December. But you will get new cards. Any other questions? I must have done a better job in that one because most people, most groups have had questions. Okay, let's talk a little bit about Colonial. Uh, Colonial is supplemental insurance. It's just a little extra insurance that's offered to you, uh, that's given to you to, um, you know, just to help supplement your, your life in the event something happens. Short-term disability is offered. Short-term disability is for somebody that's out, like with a surgery, if you have a baby, um, something where you know, you know you're going to be off work for a short time. You can purchase up to four hundred dollars. You can purchase four hundred dollars a month. That's the minimum, up to sixty percent of your income. Uh, Pre-existing conditions are looked at. If you're currently pregnant, you can't buy it now. You would, you know, it would have to be. Um, you couldn't be pregnant before January the first. You couldn't have a surgery scheduled on January second. It, it's gonna. They are gonna look at pre-existing conditions. Okay. Um, just. I, I'm just gonna touch on this. If you have. Specific questions, you can ask me afterwards, or the benefits counselor on Monday, Tuesday can talk you through it. Um, on the short-term disability, we have, there's two different plans that you can buy. You can buy um, the three-month benefit period, which that would kick in after 14 days. If, if I had, you know, broke my leg and I was going to have to be off work for a while, that would kick in after 14 days and could go up to three months as long as you have a, a doctor's statement. Or you can buy the one that's just a little bit better in the event you were in a really bad car accident and you had to be off work for six months. This one doesn't kick in for 30 days, but it lasts up to, to a year. So um, short-term disability is just something to help you have a, a paycheck coming in when you are off work. Critical illness and cancer, it is no secret that you know, cancer is everywhere. I, I feel sure that every one of us in this room has been affected by cancer somehow, some way, with someone, you know, if not yourself, someone close to you. Um, there's a whole, people are having heart attacks, strokes. This insurance, critical, critical illness and cancer insurance, it's not health insurance. This is not anything close to what I talked about earlier with North America. That's your health insurance. This is just to supplement your income. If I was diagnosed with cancer, I would get a check for $10,000 from Colonial. Now, what I do with that check is up to me. I can do whatever. I can think, okay, I may not live, be here this time next year. I'm gonna go on a big vacation with my family and enjoy some time together. I could use that money for that. Or I could use it to, if I was gonna have a treatment in Louisville to help me you know, financially to, to stay at a hotel or rent an apartment. That $10,000 is yours, whatever you would want. Um, it's tax-free, it's just to help you, it's just like a, a little bit of a, a bonus to help you get through whatever's going on. Basic things that they pay for are heart attacks, stroke, cancer, end-stage renal failure, those you get paid at 100%. 
If you have open heart surgery, you would get paid out 25%, so you would get $2,500 there. Um, there's no lifetime maximum. If after, you know, if I was having, you know, just a really um, bad year and I had a heart attack in February, and I got 100, I would get 10,000, and then six months later, I found that I had cancer, um, I'd get another 100,000, so. I would prefer that they keep their money. I don't want those things to happen, but it is that money is there. Um, diagnosed with carcinoma, which is I think pre-cancer, you would get a $2,500 benefit. In cancer, will pay out at $500. So those are the basics there um, about the critical illness and cancer. I, I'm not going too far, uh, too into the weeds on that, but if you do have questions, see me after, or like I said, the benefits counselors can really help you. Um, it is a, it's great to have that, that extra insurance, and, and if you can afford it, I do like to encourage people to consider it, but, um, you know, health insurance is definitely a, a priority. One thing I wanna mention on, if you have critical illness and can or cancer insurance, um, you can get $100 back just by getting a physical. If you've been to the doctor in the last year and gotten a physical, you can call this number that's on the screen, 800-325-4368. You tell them, hey, I saw Dr. Smith on July the 14th, and they will send you a check for $100. So it's a nice wellness benefit that kind of can help offset the premiums that you're paying that you're getting this back. Um, it's really easy. Colonial makes it really easy to get your $100. Um, you just have to tell them the name of the doctor that you saw and what date you were there. If you don't have a pen and you can't write this down, um, you can always call me and I can get you that number. Here's the pricing. Um, the, the one that's highlighted, 40 to 49. Employee only is 1068 if you do not use tobacco. You can kind of see a pattern that we really would like for you not to use tobacco. It, it's known to cause, you know, cancer and, and some different issues. So um, you saw that with the biometrics that we want you to be tobacco free. And then there's also these perks of if you don't use tobacco, your pricing's a little bit better. Accident insurance is something else that's offered. Accident insurance is just simply it, it's just what it sounds like. If you have an accident, if you break an ankle, if you uh, you know, not a car accident, you could just simply fall, something like that. Uh, you get paid out a lump sum. Uh, doctor visits, you get $50 a visit. ER, you get up in the ER, x-rays, you get a bonus. Um, fractures, it says 150 to 7,500. If you break your pinky, it's probably 150. If you break your back, it's 7,500. I, I don't have that chart in front of me, but you can kind of look at that and realize um, that <coughs> compound fractures are going to pay more. There's just certain things that, that they look at. They have a chart that, that they go by. Um, so this is just some more information. If you end up in a coma, you get 10000 It's always funny talking about these things because it's like, look how much money you get. All you have to do is, you know, fall down the stairs and hit your head. Um, but it is a bonus. It, it is nice to have. I have accident insurance. I broke my ankle a couple years ago. I got a check for you know, $750 in the mail. So it was nice to, to just have that bonus, that money coming in. Um, employee only is $6.94. Um, any questions on that, you can, you can hit me up afterwards. Um, Monday and Tuesday, we are having one-on-one -on -one meetings. If you are not making any changes, keeping everything the same, have, have no interest in, in doing anything different, um, you don't have to sign up. You don't have to see anybody. But if you if you were hired in 2018, this is your first time sitting through one of these open enrollment meetings, it is mandatory that you see a benefits counselor. Anyone who was hired in 2018 must see a benefits counselor. And then if you want to make a change, if you want to add or drop a dependent, if you want to change your beneficiary, if you want to add dental insurance, you've never had it before, but you want to add it this year, then you sign up to see a benefits counselor. Um, it's, it's always good to just sit down with them and go through everything with them. Um, those are, you can do that Monday, Tuesday, the sign-up sheets are in the back. Um, 
Any other questions on anything that I've talked about? No? Okay, well, that's all that I have today. Thank you um, very much for your time. Oh, I didn't mention this. Um, well, I, I had that slide. If you're going to add any dependents at all, you will want to make sure you bring their date of birth and their social security number with you on Monday and Tuesday. Any dependents, we have to have birth dates and uh, social security numbers. Also, on who your beneficiary will be, we will need that. Um, so if there's no other questions, thank you very much. I'll be around for a few minutes if you want to ask anything.